Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to download and install Eclipse ID. Also, we will see how to run first Java program by using Eclipse ID. So, let's start with video. So, our first step is installation of Java. Then, we will do installation of Eclipse. Because to run Eclipse, we need JDK files. So first open any of your favorite web browser and type java download. Now see it is showing official website of oracle.com. If you click this link, it will redirect you towards java downloads. Now here it is showing different versions available for different operating, operating systems for Linux, Mac OS as well as for Windows. So I'm going to install Java for Windows. So within Windows, again, I'm having three options. Compress file x64 installer and x64 MSI installer. So we'll download the last option x64 MSI installer. So just click on it. We we'll start with the download. Download is started here. Download is completed here. So just double click on it. Now just click on next button to start the installation. Again here it is showing where Java will get installed. It is in C drive program files. So I want to click the path as it is if you want to change you can change it by using this change but I want to keep as it is so I will click on next button now see it is showing Java development git 64 bit successfully installed so just click on close button but before using it we have to set the environment variables so how to set the environment variables so first we will open the folder in C drive program files again within that java and dedicate 20 tools installed so you have to copy the path up to this bin folder we we'll just copy control c and minimize this window and again in search box type edit environment variable so just type edit system environment variables so it is showing option here. So just open this. Again see. Environment variables. So just open this. We want to set new variables. So just click on new. Again name of the variable will be. Java underscore home. And variable value will be. Now just you have to paste the path. But before bin folder so it will it will be up to c, c drive program files java and jdk 20 just click on ok button now here it is showing path path just click on new again you have to paste the path here now this path will be up to bin folder let's say this path will be bin folder just click on keep it now click on ok we'll verify whether java is installed properly or not so in search box type the command cmd to open the command prompt open the command prompt within that just type java space hyphen hyphen version it is showing java 22 version is available on our machine right now we are ready to install Eclipse ID. Now friends, we will start with installation of Eclipse ID. To open Google Chrome web browser or any of your favorite web browser. Within that type Eclipse download. Now it is redirecting you towards official website that is eclipse.org. So just click on this. Again, it is showing option for download. Just click on this download option. 
again here download option is there it is redirecting you towards download page so just click on this download now see download is started here once you download this file so just double click on this dot exe file so it will start with installation of eclipse id now it is showing different installers available for eclipse so first one is for java developer again for enterprise java edition again eclipse id for c c plus plus again for embedded c c plus plus developer for php and so on multiple options are there we want eclipse id for java development so just click on this first one again see already we have installed java so it is taking this jdk 22 and that uh, and that path automatically again see here it is showing the installation folder where eclipse will get installed so just click on this install button now terms and agreement so just click on accept it now now installation is completed so just click on launch option So it is showing message select a directory as a workspace so whenever you you will do java programs at that time it will get saved within this workspace so if you want you can change the path but i want to keep it as it is so just i will click on launch option so i will do the check mark here use this as a default location and do not ask again and then just click on launch option now say it is showing welcome page of eclipse so just close this page now it is showing a workspace where we can type our program so before that you have to create a project file again new again within that select java project option if you observe towards top left corner it is showing options so create java project here it is showing option create java project so just click on it now it is showing options to create the project so select the project name suppose project name is sample again here you have to select the jre file so whatever we have installed jdk 22 so you have to select that after that if you want you can use use project folder as a root for source and class file Okay, just click on next button again click on finish button now just right click on this sample again within this project we want to create a java class so again select the new option and option as a class now again it is taking project name as a sample that is the source folder again we have to give the package name Now see what are the settings required here. You, you have to give the source folder name. It will take automatically again package name. Package name should be in lowercase letters. Again name of the class. Again within that methods I want as a public. So I have to select selected as a public. Again java.long.obj as a by default super class. And again I want to use public static void main method. So I have selected this. Now after this just click on finish. Now see it is showing hello program is created within package STE. So here I want to type a message. So I will type the message system dot out dot print ln. Now within this I want to print message as welcome to STE that is software technology empire and after this same column is required so save this file by using control s option again to execute this program here it is showing icon for execution to execute hello.java or you can use this run option so just select this run again or you can press control plus f11 so just run this program so it is showing message that is a welcome to ST. So this statement is nothing but our output.
So friends, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any query related with this video, you can comment me in comment box. And if you really like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you.